Welcome to Hit Up Olas for DIY. Today, I'm gonna to go through the saga of having painted mud flaps. When I purchased my Model 3 and I was awaiting delivery, I was excited and I was looking at different accessories I wanted to buy. I was very interested in potentially doing PPF on the car, but looking at the cost of that, that wasn't gonna happen. So, instead I went with some $40 painted mud flaps that I found on Amazon. I did a YouTube video on how to install those and it's really easy. Unfortunately, I hit some road debris and it popped a hole in my left rear tire and also that debris ended up hitting the mud flap and put a hole through it. Of course, that ruined the paint on the mud flap and ever since then I've been trying to replace it. I've ordered four total sets of mud flaps and finally, I have to do what I have to do today and that is paint the mud flaps. To replace my damaged mud flap, I decided to order a set off of Amazon that showed it as being painted. And when I received them, I've actually thrown that set away, but they were missing this tab right here. It, instead, it had a uh, circle. And this tab's really important because it's actually what clips and holds the top of the mud flap in. And I did not want to drill a hole into my fender liner. The next set of mud flaps I received were this color. It's kind of hard to tell in this video, but the paint quality, the flakes are bigger and the color match just isn't right. What I ended up doing was plastic dipping the mud flaps to match my wheels. Having the painted mud flaps on the car for a year, I really got used to the integrated painted look. So I was still looking to replace these mud flaps with some that matched. On the left is one of the original painted mud flaps that I purchased. On the right is one of the new replacement mud flaps. I'll try and zoom in, but the metal flake is much bigger on that uh, new style versus this. The, the mud flap that matches the car better has a darker tone to it, where this one is just way too bright when you put it on the car. To correct this, I bought paint from Touch Up Direct. It just arrived in the mail, and I'll unbox it. I read a lot of reviews online about the Touch Up paint being a really great match. And here we've got OVSC clear coat. And the paint. Tesla deep blue metallic. And through the box with these instructions on the touch up color match guarantee that they guarantee a perfect match. On the back of this car that came in with the spray bottles is a test here area. So I'm a father of guidance and do a color test. Now to paint the test strip, it says two to three coats. I'll let that dry 15 minutes and do the next one. Fast forward an hour and this is the end result. I didn't want to bore everyone with three coats of uh, flat and one coat of gloss, but here's the test. I've leaned it up here against the window. If you catch it the right light, it's, you think it's off, but then when you hit the right angle, it, it's really, it's dead on. So now I've got a good paint to handle my painted mud flaps. Here's the mud flap compared to the test card, and you can see really how far off that blue is. And that is why I'm going to paint all four of them right now. I'll just show you the first coat on the first one. Last night, I applied three coats of base coat and three coats of clear. Really nice shine. I just finished removing the aft left mud flap. And I'll show you a lesson I learned from the first time I took my original mud flaps off. And you can see in the paint, especially right here, where it's worn into the clear coat. When I removed this mud flap, it was a little harder to pull off to do this double sided tape. So, A, it helps secure it to the car a little bit better. And B, I think it does protect the paint as that wear that was there was originally there and it doesn't seem to have gotten any worse. 
So just be aware, when you install this style of mud flap, there is a chance that your clear coat could da get damaged. Here's a close-up video of where I'm installing the tape on the new mud flap. Here at the end, I'll just get my razor knife and trim the top. Alright, ready to install now. Wrapped up the install. Finished the installation. Color match is dead on. The mud flaps that I purchased, I purchased them off AliExpress app, uh, $13.95 for the mud flap and then like $6 for shipping, so under $20. Took a few weeks, obviously. And then Touch Up Direct, uh, that's where I got the paint. Uh, it's actually Amazon, so if you do Amazon, uh, search on there, that should pull up. Took a couple weeks to get. Um, really happy with that product. So I'll put those uh, links in the description, and if you have any comments, Please uh, post them and I'll get back to you. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my page. Hit up Olas for DIY. Have a great day.